If I said I could recharge my electric car and power my house just by pedaling, you'd say that's impossible, right? You're partly right, but you're also partly wrong. Because I'm actually on a bike right now, pedaling and generating electricity to power all my devices. This bike is being showcased at the International Funkausstellung in Berlin, where you can discover a lot of new technologies that can help us be more self-sufficient. Like, for example, a brand new battery that no longer uses lithium, but sodium. Yeah, sodium, like in table salt. We'll also see other innovations like solar electric cargo bikes or even solar tiles. Let's begin with this unique human resources, Bank Bike, featuring a 2 KDRWR battery that recharges via 1000 watt solar panels on the back or by pedaling when there's no sun. I can wirelessly charge my phone here and plug devices into a front outlet during a power outage. I have a system that always gives me energy using solar power, even without sun. I can always pedal to produce a little bit of energy, but when pedaling, you don't produce a lot of energy. Right now I'm going all out and producing about 100 watts. That allows me to recharge my phone in about 15 minutes and my laptop in about an hour. Definitely not enough to power my house or charge an electric car, but that's not the goal. The company that designed this bike is Lithuanian, so it's a country close to Ukraine, which means that the threat of war is very present. These bikes are therefore placed in schools and bunkers, for example, in order to provide electricity in case of emergency. That's when you truly get the point of this bike. If there are clashes and a power outage, you'll have to barricade yourself so you won't have access to solar energy anymore. That's when pedaling is essential. Recharge your phone so you can contact loved ones and follow the news. This is crucial during war. Purify water with electric purifiers. There are plenty of other uses for this electric bike. So it's not an object that's primarily designed to save energy, it's an object that's designed. There you go, in case of a major crisis. But honestly, I think the design is really aesthetic. It's subjective, but I think it's beautiful. Honestly, if you use an exercise bike often, why not choose one like this? It lets you work out. And also generate some electricity. It's a win-win. Speaking of bikes, we actually saw a second one at the Zendura booth. We've tested many Zendura batteries on this channel. And now we have a new product that integrates these batteries and offers us a new use. It's an electric cargo bike with a solar panel and Zendura batteries under the cargo seat. The panel recharges the batteries and the batteries allow the bike to travel about 400 km with electric assistance. And in itself, if there's enough sunlight, you even have unlimited range if you're trying to live more independently. Here, we really have a very good alternative to the car. You can transport children or equipment in the cargo. Everything inside is protected from the sun and rain thanks to the solar panel. The solar panel can also be lifted to better store whatever you want inside. The bike has a 400 km range or unlimited with enough sun so you can ride anywhere without getting tired. I think it's really a very interesting solution. It's a prototype for now. The final product launches next year. We can remove the solar panel to place it on the side and even connect our own panel to charge the bike faster. And the batteries inside the cargo don't just power the bike. They also allow you to power all the devices you need through outlets that are right here. For example, it lets you take a road trip and pack your tent and other items in the cargo. In the evening, your small solar power station lets you be self-sufficient in electricity. Well, bikes are useful for generating electricity in an emergency or for getting around independently. But there are ways to take self-sufficiency much further. If you want to become fully self-sufficient in electricity, we have more interesting systems like Blue ATs, which we recently tested on this YouTube channel, especially the Apex 300. It's an all-in-one system that connects to solar panels and powers devices through outlets. But where it really makes sense is when you add extension batteries underneath and set up several systems at home. 
We have solar panels on the roof that go into our inverter. The inverter is connected to these three systems. We can put these three systems on the hub A1. This hub A1 is connected to our electrical panel, so we power our entire house with our solar production and our batteries. We also have accessories to power more devices during a trip, like USB-C devices or ones that use a car lighter. But really, to have a system that allows us to be 100% self-sufficient, you need to have several units like this. You can connect up to six extension batteries per IPEX 300 block. That means in a large setup, you would have three big blocks with six smaller blocks underneath. That would be more than enough to be self-sufficient, even with high power consumption. And if you have a very, very high electricity consumption, several electric cars, a very large house, or maybe even some energy hungry machines, we'll see what's next there. The Apex 300, which I just showed you, is a plug and play system, which supports up to 11,000 watts of solar panels and 58 kilowatt hours of storage. It's still a large system to be self-sufficient. But if we want to go one step further, we have a more professional system that needs to be installed by a professional. It's this system, the Bluetti EP2000. And with that, you can have 30 kilowatts of solar panels, 30,000 watts. That means about 60 panels on the roof. This can be especially interesting with solar tiles, which we'll show you shortly. This system can also have 50 kilowatt hours of storage and most importantly, it can sell the surplus electricity back to the grid. So this is really the professional system, let's say to be 100% self-sufficient, to sell the surplus back to the grid, to have a system that's not plug and play, but really one that's built to last for several decades in your home. Bluetti sells batteries for balconies, solar panels and complete systems for vans converted to be electrically self-sufficient from everywhere. But what impressed me the most at their booth was their brand new battery, the Bluetti Pioneer NA, which no longer uses lithium. No, it's no longer a lithium battery, it's a sodium battery, sodium like the table salt you have at home. That offers many advantages, which I'll explain to you. That means this battery no longer uses lithium, nickel, cobalt, or even copper. The anodes inside are made of aluminum. So, Ecologically, it's a major breakthrough because we have resources that are much more easily accessible, require much less excavation, and therefore have a much lower environmental impact. Right now, sodium batteries cost more than lithium batteries because the technology is new. But the prices should normally go down in the coming years. The biggest advantage of sodium batteries is really their operating temperature. Whereas lithium batteries can go below zero degrees Celsius, but it's still best to keep them above zero degrees Celsius. The sodium battery can operate at minus 25 degrees C without issues. It's really a technology that can withstand the cold very well. That's why, by the way, Blue Eddy brands it with this polar blue to show that you can use it in any circumstance, even when it's as cold as minus 25 degrees C outside. Sodium battery's main drawback is that sodium occupies more space than lithium. We have two similarly sized batteries. The lithium one stores 2000 VBH, while the sodium one stores just 900 VBH. So from a compactness point of view, lithium is still more appealing. Here, it's 24 kg versus 16 kg sodium isn't much heavier, just takes up more space. So for an electric car, for example, lithium will always be more appealing. On the other hand, for home systems, we have batteries that are still lightweight, that take up a bit more space, but that's not a problem. They can remain outside, even in the cold, so sodium is the future for me. Home batteries at home, or maybe for many other uses. For businesses, for electric vehicle charging stations. However, in the vehicles themselves, lithium, lithium iron phosphate will remain the standard for some time yet, I think. All the systems I've shown you so far are really interesting and they generally work with standard solar panels. A major issue with solar panels is that some city halls reject them for being unattractive. It doesn't comply with the local urban plan or planning rules. The solution is right here. Terracotta colored or black solar tiles. You see, it gives a really natural look. It feels like they're regular tiles. Now city hall can't stop you from doing it. We produce about 45 watts per black tile or 38 watts per terracotta colored tile. 
you can install them on the whole roof. So we can produce 10, 20, 30, 40 kilowatts peak of electricity through the solar panels. This lets us be mostly self-sufficient in electricity and sell any surplus. It's an installation that absolutely has to be done by a professional because we have so much power. An individual is not allowed to install it in France. You have to go through a certified installer. But then you can sell the surplus and really become an energy producer. Your roof costs more than a regular one. Of course, we don't have the prices yet because the product just came out. It's not even really on the market yet. So we don't know how much it's going to cost. However, what is certain is that it's guaranteed for 30 years. It will generate electricity for over 30 years, nearly the house's entire lifespan. So you're definitely going to get your money's worth from your solar roof. I think this product is incredible. Share your thoughts in the comments. We saw many other innovations at Internationale Funkausstellung, which was very interesting. In this video, we showed you some of them. A bike that generates electricity, moves autonomously, recharges with solar power, and carries almost everything you need. A new salt battery replaces lithium with even more eco-friendly materials. And finally, we saw the solar tiles that would allow us to produce a huge amount of electricity. With a much more integrated design, city halls should be much less likely to reject this type of product. That was only about 5% of what we saw here. Get ready to see a lot of videos on the channel about innovative products that allow us to be more self-sufficient, that help us move away from fossil fuels by producing solar decarbonized energy. Tell me in the comments what you thought about all these products. Subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And then I want to thank you for watching this one until the end and see you very soon on the channel. Bye.